in our just concluded session i was able to explain the difference between a discount allowed and a discount received that previous session was just in preparation for this very session where i get to talk about the three column cash book now we have already covered the two column cash book or call it the double column cash book in our previous sessions and uh, it entails double entry that is relating to the cash and the bank account we also talked about the contra entry and how it plays out in the double column cash book what we are going to be doing in the three column cash book is not any different from what we have been doing in the double column cash book or call it the two column cash book the only new thing we are introducing here is the discounts columns on the debit side of uh, the cash book like you're seeing on your screen is we are going to introduce a discount column and specifically on the debit side we shall call it the discounts allowed column on the credit side we shall be introducing the discounts received column again we we discussed what discounts allowed and discounts received means in our previous session the link to that is in the description below in today's session we get to do a worked example as well regarding this right on your screen you can already say that we are having uh 2020 may balances brought down from apple so we have the balances there brought down from the previous month uh, we have the cash balance which is 29 the bank balance which is 654 the debtors accounts here we have mwebaze 120 sewan kambo 280 shadia 440 all these figures are in united states dollars then the creditors accounts have balances Lincoln 60, Kisache 440, then Marot 100. Now here's the thing. As uh, we are supposed to account for these balances in our books, so what is going to happen here is that the cash normally has a debit balance. So we post the $29 on, in the debit column of the cash book. Then the bank balance is definitely bank being an asset has a debit balance. So we are going to post the 654 into the bank column on the debit side of the three column cash book these are balances broke down from the previous session that we have just filled in right there and these are taking place on the first day of the month of may 2020 then we have balances from data's accounts data's accounts are found in the sales ledger so in the sales ledger we have data muebaze and then we also have Sewan Kambo, we have also Shadia. So we break, write down their balances. Now these are asset accounts being debtors. And we know that asset accounts have debit balances. So we look at Data Mwebaze, who has a balance of 120. We go ahead and post 120 into the debit side of the Data Mwebaze. Of course, the details there are that this is a balance brought down. And this is on the first day of the month first of may then we have data so one combo 280 so we go ahead and post 280 on the debit side of so one combo the, the details here definitely are that this is a balance brought down then we also have uh another data here called shadia uh data is a data still in the sales ledger uh the, his uh, the balance from the previous session is 40 and of course, this is a balance brought down. This is on the very first of that of the month. So enough of the debtors accounts. We also have creditors accounts that are having balances from the previous session. So these creditors accounts, creditors accounts are more like liability accounts. And we know that liability accounts have credit balances. So we have um, this creditor here, Lincoln. Balance from the previous session is 60, so we post 60 on the credit side of the, the Lincoln account. The, definitely the details there show that this is a balance brought down from the previous session, and this, is, this balance is posted on the first day of May. The same is going to happen to Chisache, Chisache, 440 US dollars. Of course, the details show that this is a balance brought down, and we brought them down on the first day of May. The other creditor is Marot. Balance is 100 USD. And these are also a balance brought down from the previous session. So 
now that we have filled in that part of the information of the balances now we can go and proceed to the next transactions on second mwebaze pays us by check after deducting three dollars as cash discount so that transaction shows that we were paid by check after uh, we were paid 117 by check after deducting three dollars as a cash discount now being paid by check means that this amount of money was paid in the bank like i had mentioned in our previous session whether money is paid by cash or in the bank as long as there is an element of discount that is associated with the transaction we regard it as a cash discount so when we are paid by check of course it means that the amount of money in the bank has increased so because the amount of money in the bank has increased we go ahead and debit the bank account that is we debit the cash book by posting 117 in the bank column and definitely the other item that has been affected is Mwebaze, the one that has paid us and this took place on the 1st of may so Mwebaze paying us Mwebaze was a data of hours so we so we go to the sales ledger to look for Mwebaze's account in the sales ledger when you look at Mwebaze's account because we debited the uh, the bank account we come and complete the double entry by crediting Mwebaze's account by 117 so we do that like exactly that uh, the other item affected is bank and the bank is the bank account we're talking about here is found in the cash book on page one of the cash book and this took place on that date now that we have established that data Mwebaze account is on page one of the sales ledger we go ahead and fill the, the folio column by putting SL1. SL meaning this Mwebaze account is found in the sales ledger on page 1. Now remember, when Mwebaze was paying us, we allowed a discount of $3. So that discount of $3 is put in the discounts allowed column. So we go ahead and post 3 dollars though that's the discount that we that was allowed when Mwebaze was paying us in other words we um Mwebaze paid us less the discounts allowed so after posting this discount allowed in the column we are supposed to go ahead and post a corresponding entry to this discount in the Mwebaze account so if we come back to the Mwebaze account in the sales ledger we treat the discount the same way we treated the cash he paid us earlier by crediting the Mwebaze account with the discount which is three the other item affected is definitely the discount and this is found in the cash book on page one and this took place on the same date on the 2nd of May if you look at the Mwebaze account you realize that the amount of value on the debit size is 120 and if you look at and if you add up the items on the credit side of the data Mwebaze account, they also add up to 120 and so the account balances. So we move on to the next. We pay Maroti's account by check $95 after deducting $5, which is equivalent to 5% cash discount. So Marot was a creditor of ours and we paid him $95 after deducting five dollars as discount so meaning that that five dollars that was deducted while we were paying um, this amount is a discount that was allowed to us so how do we treat this since we spent money to pay marot by check it means the amount of money in the bank reduced so we'll go ahead and credit the bank account or in other words we credit the cash book by writing the amount we paid in the bank column of the cash book which is 95 uh, the other item that was affected is the uh, Marot, who so happens to be a creditor of ours, and this took place on that date. So we go, since Marot was a creditor of ours, we go on to the purchases account and look for his account. In the purchases, I mean the purchases ledger. So in the purchases ledger, we realize a Marot account is on page three, and uh, we do the corresponding double entry there by debiting his account with 95 
The other item affected is the bank, and uh, this is in the cash book on page one, and it took place on that date. Now that we know that the creditor Marot account is on page three, we go back to our cash book and we fill in the folio column by saying that actually Marot's account is found in the purchases ledger on page three. But like I had earlier said, while we were paying him, we paid less a discount. A discount was given us. In other words, we received a discount for paying Marot. And this is what we call the discount received. So we put the discount received right there on the credit side. And so we shall go and complete the double entry that is corresponding to this discount received in Marot's ledger account in the purchases ledger. So we'll go to the back to the purchases ledger and we complete the double entry that is corresponding to this discount by putting that discount right there. Five, the other item affected is the discounts which is also in the cash book on page one. Again, the difference to get a clear understanding of what a discount allowed and a discount received is, and the double entry that is associated with those two, please watch our video on our previous session where I really get to discuss these discounts allowed and discounts received in depth. So I'll proceed on to the next transaction on 11th. Withdrew $100 cash from the bank for business use. So when we withdraw money from the bank for business use, of course, it means that the amount of money in the bank has reduced. So if the amount of money in the bank has reduced, we will go ahead and credit the bank account. In other words, we credit the cash book by putting the amount of money that has reduced in the bank column and that's why we put a hundred dollars in the bank column on the credit side the other item affected here is cash because the amount of money was gotten from the bank and converted into cash and this took place on that date now we go ahead and complete the double entry in the cash account which so happens to be on the same page or in the same book which is the cash book. So we go to the cash accounts. It's the amount of cash in the business increases. So we go ahead and debit the cash book by $100. The other item affected is the bank and it took place on that date. Like we had already mentioned earlier that when double entry begins and ends in the same book, that is considered a contra entry. And in this case, this is a contra entry because the double entry begins and ends in the cash book. And so we put the we put a C in the folio columns to indicate that this is a contra entry. We go into the next transaction on 16th. Someone can pays his account by check $273 after deducting a 2.5% discount of $7. So in other words, here the discounts are already calculated for that for us. They are telling us that Sewan Kambo pays his account. Sewan Kambo paying his account means that Sewan Kambo was originally a debtor to us or a debtor to the business and he paid $273. He pays this money after deducting a discount of $7. So if he pays us by check, it means the amount of money in our bank increased. If the amount of money in our bank increased, it means we are going to go ahead and debit the bank column. In the cash book by the said amount of money that Sewan Kambo gives us, which so happens to be 273 US dollars. The other item affected is, of course, the Sewan Kambo account in the sales ledger, and this is happening on that date. So, to complete the double entry for the amount of money we received, since we debit the bank account, we are going to go ahead and credit data Sewan Kambo account by the amount of money he paid which so happens to be 273 dollars the other item affected is the bank which is happening on that debt now of course the bank is found in the cash book on page one of the cash book since we know now that data sewan Campbell account is on page two we go ahead and fill in the folio column of the cash book to indicate that the sewan Campbell account is in the sales ledger on page two 
And uh, remember, while this was happening, there was a discount associated. When he paid us, we allowed a discount. That discount was $7. So we go ahead and complete the double entry associated with that discount. We put the discount allowed figure in the discount column. So we go ahead and complete the double entry associated with that discount by crediting the Sewan Kambo account with $7. Of course, the details show that this is a discount which is found in the cash book in page one. And this took place on that date. Moving on to our next transaction, 25th, we paid off expenses in cash, $92. Of course, when we pay expenses in cash, the amount of cash in our business has reduced. So we are going to go ahead and credit the cash account. So we go and credit cash with 92. The other item affected is expenses. And definitely this took place on that date. That is 25th. So we complete the double entry. Where do we find the expenses account? This is found in the general ledger. So we go to the general ledger and we go to the expenses account and complete the double entry by debiting the expenses account with 92. The other item affected is cash. The cash is found in the cash book on page one of the cash book. And this took place on that date. Now that we know that the expenses account is on page one of the general ledger, we go ahead and say that the expenses account is actually found in the general ledger on page one. Moving on to the next transaction on 28th, Shadia pays us in cash 38 after deducting $2 cash discount. Shadia is a debtor to the business. So when she pays us, it means she pays us cash. So it means the amount of cash in the business increases by 38. So that means we are going to go ahead and debit cash. So we debit cash by 38. The other item affected is Shadia, his hack account. And that took place on that day. So we go ahead and look for Shadia account in the sales ledger. So the Shadia account is right there. She paid us 38. The other item affected is cash. This took place. This is found, the cash account is found in the cash book on page one, and it took place on that date. So now that we know that the shared year account is on page three, we go ahead and fill uh, that this is found in the sales ledger of page three. After filling the folio column, that the shared year account is found in the sales ledger of page three. Remember, when she paid us, we allowed a discount. Upon allow, we allowed a discount of two. So. We go ahead and also finish the double entry that is associated with that discount by posting the two right there by crediting the Shadia account. Of course, the details here show that this is a discount in the cash book. This took place on the same date. Moving on to the next transaction. On 29th, we pay Lincoln by check less 5% cash discount. Now, if you look at this transaction, they're telling us that we pay Lincoln by check less five percent cash discount how much does do we owe lincoln now when you look at the lincoln account we realize that we owe lincoln sixty dollars so we are supposed to pay him less five percent cash discount in other words here the discount has not been calculated to us we've been given the percentage so if we owe lincoln sixty dollars and well, and what we are receiving a 5% cash discount, it means we're supposed to go ahead and calculate the discount first. So we call, go ahead and calculate the cash discount, which is at 5%. It's going to become 5%. That is 5 over 100. Multiply that by the amount of money we owe Lincoln, which so happens to be 60. And this is going to give us 3. So in other words... We are not going to pay much as we owe Lincoln $60. We are not going to pay him the entire $60, but instead we are going to pay him $57. It means that the $3 we are not paying him is a discount that we have received. So after look, doing these side work calculations, we shall go ahead and credit the bank account since we are paying through the bank. So we shall credit the bank account with $57. So it's the $57 we pay Lincoln. The other item affected is definitely the Lincoln account, which is 
and this transaction took place on that date so we go and look for the Lincoln account in the purchases ledger so in the purchases ledger the Lincoln account is right there we debit 57 the other item affected is cash and this is found in the cash book on page one and it took place on that date the creditor Lincoln account is on page one of the purchases ledger so we go ahead and fill the folio column of the cash book to show where the Lincoln account is located it's in the purchases ledger on page one and we go ahead and complete the postings that are associated with the discount that we received remember in our calculations we received a discount of three so we go ahead and post it right there in the discount received column and then from there we complete the double entry that is associated with that discount by going back to the credit Lincoln account and the debit side we post the three dollars and of course the details show that this is a discount that is in the cash book on page one and that took place on the same date moving on to the next transaction on 30th we purchase such a by check less 2.5 percent cash discount again here the discount has not been calculated for us but we've been given 2.5 percent rate for the cash discount and uh so we're going to the Kisachi account. If you go to the Kisachi account, you, you realize that we owe Kisachi 440 US dollars. So because we owe Kisachi 440 dollars, we're supposed to go ahead and calculate the cash discount because we're supposed to pay that amount less the cash discount. So since it's 2.5, it's going to be 2.5. Divide that by 100. Multiply that by 440. We end up with 11. So it means we are going to pay less 11. In other words, the amount payable is less the cash discount. So we are going to pay 429 and the $11 is the discount we have received. So go ahead and post. We go ahead, since we are paying by check, 429 is the amount of money we are paying. The other item affected is Chisache. And this happened on 30th. So we shall go ahead and look for the Chisache account. This is our creditor. So we go to our purchases ledger. Looking for the Chisache account. We go ahead and debit his account with 429. The other item affected is the bank account, which is in the cash book. And it took place on that date. And since we know that now the credit at such account is on page two, we complete the double entry by putting that this is found in the purchases ledger of page two. Then we go ahead and uh, complete the transaction. We received a discount of $11, so we shall post 11 in the discount received column. Then we'll go ahead and complete the entry in the Chisachi account that is associated with this discount by posting 11 on the debit side of the debit credit at Chisachi account the other item affected is the discount which is found in the cash book and this took place on that date so now that we have finished with all the transactions we can go ahead and add the columns so we shall first find the totals of the discounts columns First of all, the discounts received are totaling up to 19 and the discounts allowed are totaling up to 12. When we total up these discounts allowed and the discounts received columns, we will go ahead and post these figures in the general ledger. So in the general ledger, we have something we call a discounts allowed account and a discounts received account. Since we have the total number of discounts allowed as 12 we shall go ahead and post that total as 12 in the discounts allowed account in the general ledger and of course in the details we shall so that we shall say that these are the total discounts for the month of may and this was from the cash book then the same thing we shall do for discounts received the discounts received for the month of may were 19 on the credit side so we shall go ahead and credit the discount received account 
in the general ledger by crediting it with 19. Of course, under details, we shall show that these are the total discounts for the month of May. So after we have posted the totals, we can go ahead and balance our cash book. Of course, the debit side is bigger than the credit side. We shall go column by column. The bank side is 1044 as the total. This means that our balance is carried down for the bank. When you subtract, you get 363. For the cash, it's 167. So it means that the balance is carried down on the cash side is 75. And of course, the balance is carried down for May are going to become the opening balances for June, the next month. So we shall say in the first month of first June 2020, the balances brought down from the previous period are the balances that have been carried down in the previous period. The balances brought down from the previous period are 363 and 75. Now again, in our earlier sessions, we said that because of the existence of the cash book where we find the cash and bank account on the same ledger page, we no longer need to maintain a cash and bank account in the general ledger. Now somebody may argue that because we have the discounts column in the cash book, we no longer need to maintain a discounts account in the general ledger. Now, for the case of discounts, that is not so. Yes, when it comes to the cash account and the bank account, we no longer have to we no longer need to maintain those in the general ledger because they are already in the cash book but for the discounts uh, discounts allowed and discounts received accounts those ones are still maintained in the general ledger when it comes to the cash book and the discounts allowed or discounts received columns what is happening here is that we will be filling the discounts allowed and the discounts received figures in those columns and we shall be getting the totals of the discounts allowed and the totals of the discounts received at the end of the period. And we shall be posting those appropriately in the respective accounts in the general ledger. That is, we shall be posting uh, the total of the discounts allowed into the discounts allowed account in the general ledger. And also we shall be getting the total of the discounts received and we shall be posting it in the discounts received account in the general ledger. And that sums it up for the three column cash book. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Check out other accounting lectures on the channel. My name is Anand Ranga Kuramia and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.